What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode out here at Squirrel Lake. Today we're going to be playing with disc dice. If you guys don't know who they are, go check them out on Instagram. They make dice that you roll that say like mid-range, putter, driver, um, roller, forehand, hyzer, all sorts of stuff on it. And they're really, really uh, well made. So they sent me a pair for us to use. I'm going to try and do this with Yuli as well soon. Um, but I wanted to come out and just play with them and have some fun. Uh, thank you so much for all the support lately, guys. Uh, for those of you who are interested, head over to patreon.com slash Michael Holt if y'all guys want to support in that way. But let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so first hole here, take the dice, roll them in your disc, and we've got understable backhand, which is terrible because we need a hard left here. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to throw this diamond here that I died recently. Um... Obviously it's extremely understable, so I'm not gonna put too much power on it and just hope we can get down around the corner when it runs out of speed. Wow, that should actually be really good. We threw that nice and easy and it flew beautifully. So I talk about this a lot on my channel, um, but I advocate for throwing beginner discs even if you're an advanced or pro level player. Um, you see Paul throw his heat or his get out of jail free car, which are extremely understable discs because they're like, they're, it's a utility disc. You can do so many different things with it that other discs can't necessarily do. So I don't want the terminology of beginner disc to scare you guys away from throwing diamonds or rubies or anything like that. Um, if a beginner disc feels good in your hand like you go to a shop you try it out buy that disc and i promise you you will find really really cool opportunities um to to throw them out on the course all right so we roll whenever we're outside of the circle so now we have backhand driver which is perfect for an approach right here all right gonna throw this felon that i made super high have it dive back down Okay, that should give us a look for a putt. All right, so surprisingly enough, this is a par four. So starting off with a bird there. All right, so rolling here, forehand putter. <laughs> off of this tee, one of the longest holes here. <laughs> Dang it. All right, so I brought the Caltrop, uh, and it should actually turn over for me if I give it enough torque. So if I can get it around the corner, I'll be happy. Yeah. Uh, I kind of cut myself off, but we're going to roll the discs, or we're going to roll the dice anyway, so maybe I'm not cut off. All right, rolling the dice. Overstable roller? What the freak? All right, so uh, I'm gonna throw this Raider and just see what we can do. <laughs> I got a very small gap for a roller right here. All right, I mean, that could have been way worse. All right, so the disc is already turned over, so we'll just roll on it. Wild card, overstable. Let's do overstable overhand, okay? So I'll grab that felon again here. Overstable, tomahawk. Oh, that was a bid. <laughs> so it actually has, uh, the little logo is, um, wild card so you can make up a mulligan not a mulligan you can make up a mando or whatever so we should hit him up with, with a par here i'm just gonna go put this in and we'll still be one down yeah so that was a four so this is a par four we're one down still all right roll in nice understable backhand so normally i throw a sidearm on this um an understable backhand is pretty much the equivalent so we should be okay here all right, I'm gonna throw this diamond here. Ace it, ace it. Oh my 
gosh. So that diamond is different than the one that I uh, was bagging. Still bag both of them. That one's max weight. The other one was min weight. <clears throat> and that thing, gosh, it feels, it feels sturdier in the hand. The lightweight one was just ridiculous, but you could throw it on crazy lines, which is why I like having it and still use it. But that max weight diamond right there, man, like that felt really, really good. weird out of my hand a weird weird stance there um still one down so this hole has a very specific shot that i like to throw on it so this is going to be interesting <laughs> we got anheuser over stable okay so anheuser sidearm with like a felon is probably what i'll try and do so i'm actually going to try and just make up a line through the woods uh because anheuser sidearm wouldn't work here the anheuser backhand See if we can just find a line through the woods. That should be okay. All right, for the approach shot here, overstable forehand. Okay, so this should be interesting. Overstable forehand with the uh, justice. Shoot, that's going to be a tough putt. They were too hard. Alright. Save par there. So I'm happy with that. Alright. What? Okay, so it's double whatever. So I'm actually just going to re-roll. I'm just gonna re-roll because I want at least one of them to, to tell me what to do. So Anheuser overstable. Okay, so we'll throw an overstable disc on an Anheuser here. Yeah, and see what we can do. So in case you guys were wondering, I replaced the old Raider with this one. I dyed it. Um, I put the sticker on here and just painted it real quick to see how it did. I didn't do a video of it or anything, um, but I think it turned out pretty freaking sweet. So we're gonna throw this one on an Anheuser hopefully get high enough that it'll hold it and then come back left. Oh, it's so overstable. Oh no. Oh no. All right, so we're off the fairway here and we have to throw a backhand putter. Awesome. That's actually perfect. I'm gonna throw the Ruby, super understable beginner putter here um, and it should get us right up to the basket hopefully. Yeah, okay, okay. That's definitely within the circle, but that means I have to make a circle putt. <laughs> nice. Alright, so it's still one down. Now guys, I'm not I wanna know I wanna let you guys know I'm not like mocking the term beginner or anything, because beginner is to disc golf wouldn't know terms like understable or lightweight like they would have no idea how to associate that with disc golf so the terminology beginner is perfect for those discs because those discs work perfectly for beginners for people who are just beginning but i don't think that they limit themselves to beginners i have multiple beginner discs in my bag and i love them and i make great shots with them um and that's why i'm such a big advocate for them because i think that the the stigma with it is like, oh, it's a beginner disc. I shouldn't throw it because I've been playing for X amount of years. And it's like, uh-uh, you should throw it. And if you're good, you can make some really, really cool shots with it. All right, so this one's going to be interesting. We got a mid-range Anheuser. Okay, so I'll probably throw the Justice out on an Anheuser here. Now, I have to be kind of careful throwing an Anheuser here because there's a road. Um, but we're gonna throw this justice since it's pretty overstable and hopefully we can make it work. Oh yeah, 
Oh. All right, we'll see how that works. So I released that on just a slight Anheuser and aimed to the left of the fairway because I was really worried about the road. Like, I don't want to have it air out and skip or hit anybody's car or anything like that. Um, I think we kicked out of the woods though, so we should be in an okay spot for a normal shot. But I don't know what the dice are gonna make me do. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Mid backhand. Okay. Um, dude, that sucks. Okay, I'm gonna throw my truth, my EMAC truth. All right, throwing the EMAC truth here. This is not the shot here. Sidearm is the shot here. Sidearm flex shot. Good turn. Yeah. Nice. That worked out good. All right, and then we're just gonna putt it from here. Do it. You're joking. You're not rolling, are you? Dang. Same exact spot. All right, so still one down, even playing with these uh, dice. So real quick, guys, uh, I just want to thank all y'all for watching my videos. Um, I'm like really excited for the coming year and my sponsorships and tournaments and DDO and making videos and everything. Um, and I wouldn't be able to do that without y'all watching. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting on Patreon, like everything. Um, yeah, I, I appreciate it very, very much so. All right, so this one will be interesting as well. We've got understable Anheuser. Wow. All right. All right, so throwing this diamond again, it's understable and I need to release it on an Anheuser. So it's going to be crazy. Roll it. Ah, <laughs> no, it hit a tree and rolled over to the left. All right, let's see here putter and then wild card um i'll do a i'll do a tomahawk so putter and then wild card so putter tomahawk here oh go in oh man it skipped too far shoot oh i did not like that All right, so we're still one down here. Heiser overstable? Oh, this is gonna be bad. All right, so I was thinking backhand, but I can throw a Heiser sidearm overstable, which is perfect. So I'm gonna throw this felon. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was so bad. Dang. All right, another par. All right, now this hole is dead straight and it's like a tunnel. So this is gonna be interesting. Putter forehand. All right. All right, throwing the, uh, the cow trap here. I mean, at least he's in the opening over there. All right, so this is gonna be an approach shot here, so we'll see. Putter roller, you're joking. From this distance? Oh my gosh, okay. I don't throw rollers, so this is gonna be interesting. Oh, you're gonna hit that stump? That actually wasn't looking too bad. Put a roller from here is miserable. I didn't even, <laughs> I didn't even think that would be an option. I thought it was gonna be like overstable forehand or something like that. But they make me do putter roller. Oh, 
Oh, come on. Oh. All right, so this is gonna put us back to even, our first bogey. Another super interesting hole here because you want the disc to go straight and right. So we'll see. We got Heiser under stable. That's actually perfect. I'm gonna throw my diamond. Got the max weight diamond here. Gonna throw on a little bit of Heiser, probably around here. It'll flip up and go right. Come on, turn right, turn right. Oh, it just went straight. Sit down, right there. Okay. Too much hyzer on it. But I mean, we had to give it hyzer, so you know. I had to make sure I gave it enough hyzer to make the discs or the dice happy. Rolling, rolling, rolling. All right, forehand and wild card. Um, wild card, I'm gonna make it have to be a flex shot so I can't throw it straight, okay? So forehand almost Anheuser, I guess. And I'm gonna throw the Justice. Actually, I'm gonna throw the Felon. Miss it. Gosh, that looked really good. All right, so I feel like this is definitely outside the circle, which sucks. Because if I get another forehand, or if I get another putter roller here, Anheuser overstable. Okay, we can make that work. All right, so the Caltrop says overstable putt and approach. So we're gonna throw this on a little bit of an Anheuser uh, and just hope that we can get it in the basket. Mm, not bad, that'll be a par. All right. Not too bad there. All right, throwing this uh, Emac Truth here. Oh, branch, it's gonna mess up the spin. Sit down. Ah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Forehand, understable, nice. I like that. We'll see what we can do. All right, gonna throw the diamond here. No, you're joking. All right, so we're still outside the circle here. This is brutal, this hole right now. Heiser overstable, okay. Plus one now. All right, so last hole out here at Squirrel Lake. It's only a 12 hole course. We got an overstable Anheuser. Okay, that could work. All right, so I'm, I'm gonna throw this Raider on an Anheuser. Oh, dude, when those things are new, they're so overstable. It's ridiculous. Like I threw that out probably, I don't know, on an Anheuser because I had to. <laughs> and it went pretty flat and then went left. So we should have a look though. All right, so I feel like this is close enough to Circle's Edge. So we're just gonna give this a putt in the mud. Oh. There it is. Nope. I also just didn't want to roll and stuff when I was in the mud. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video using the disc dice. Hope that you guys enjoyed. Again, go check them out on Instagram. Um, really, really good quality. Like, these things aren't a joke. Like, these are really, really good quality. Go check them out. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys. See you on the next video. Peace out.